Gemini, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading, my darlings. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Gemini, this is a judgment-free zone. Somebody's about to show their true colors. Um, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. Freak. Um, shoot. All right. Um, I'm sorry. Only energy. I don't even know what I was saying. No gender or age, only energy. Ooh, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have a pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Maybe roles can be reversed. God darn, Gemini. This is a heavy download. Hold on. Because uh, I had a whole different d d conversation set up for you. Whew. There's a huge snake coming out of you. God darn this mother lover. I can only, I can't see the full body. If the head is, um, the head is peeling. It's, uh, I don't know how to explain that. The head is, ill. Hold on. God darn, I would have waited, Gemini. I didn't know. I'm sorry. The head is peeling. There's a, um, it's, um, I don't know about the colors. Help me. Green. Uh, the, what do you call those colors? Those shim shimmery kind of colors? Um, uh, shimmery. Um, it's not green. It's not blue. It's not black, but it is. It's kind of, what is it? Um, sequence, I think does that. Like it's kind of, Oh my goodness, but it's underneath is white. It's white and it has whiskers. Why does a snake have whiskers? Um This is a lot, Gemini. I don't know what to, God darn, what how did we get here? All right, let's go. Let's just go. I gotta roll with I, I have to I have to I, I have to give you what I had and then I guess whatever this is will be what it means will be what you're getting ready for. Coming into your energy, first of all, can I just say I wanted to, I wanted to thank you because at that time, I don't know where we got to get ready to go, but at that moment, I was so appreciative because out of the air signs, yours was the most calm, the most... Uh, at that moment stable you know what I'm saying like I felt very logical I felt I didn't feel everything was perfect I ain't gonna lie but it felt like instead of you drowning in emotions you were kind of surfing the wave you know um I felt like um nothing was bothering you or, or I don't know if you oh help me with my words if you were doing algebra that you figured out the value of x so now you can do the problem but you 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 couldn't like the problem is still there, but you just gotta plug in the key, plug in the X, and then you can add it up, kind of thing. So that's how I felt in your energy. What this is is what's coming in here with this snake. This is something that I think behind the scenes you have kind of been preparing for. To be honest, I feel this reveal is not freaking me out in your energy. It's freaking me out as me. I like this is my reaction cuz I didn't see this coming in your energy. But in your energy, I don't feel shocked. I don't feel um I don't feel you the way I'm reacting. Do that make sense? You're looking at this like I knew it was something. I knew it was somebody. I knew it was uh coming. You know, whatever it's like you may not have had all the details, but you knew something, somewhere, somehow, somebody. That That's how this feels, this snake. And it's still very, very, uh, very, very uh, present in this energy. Um, wow. Um, if I had to put this like, it, it's almost playing out like a movie. You know, the snake is coming out of the, the peel and the eyes are blue and the mouth is opening and inside of the mouth there's a blue river 
yeah, there's a blue river. So I don't really want to go in the mouth. Um, that's a little bit much for me. I ain't really feeling exploratory. Gemini, this is your energy, you know, but I just want you to know it's there. Okay. And it has whiskers. I don't know what that means. Um, let's just go. Whiskers, not like a cat, but whiskers like, maybe that's the wrong term, like fins, but they're in they're next to the nose. Fins? Uh, is that fins? Can I have Gemini, please? Man, I'm sorry, y'all. I thought we was going to be normal. <laughs> I thought somebody, somebody got to be normal out here. God darn. Woo! Because Lord knows, I, I know I probably, you know, that, that for me has just passed. I ain't going to lie. I don't even try no more. But somebody got to be, with somebody's cuckoo got to be controlled, okay? We all got the clock. We all got the cuckoo. But somebody's cuckoo has got to be controlled. Um, double air here, eagle with vulture. You're in your element. And you're a very, very, very resourceful, okay, in this energy. I have to say that. The eagle, you know, is a higher perspective. It's a high view. It's an understanding of power by way of creation, by way of your ancestral heritage, by way of your birthright, you know, and the vulture knows how to make things work. The vulture, you know, is eats the carcass because it's not going to go to waste. You understand? It's resourceful. It's resor It knows how to survive. That's the thing, the vulture. So you're prepared. That's why I said in this energy, I don't feel like, I don't feel like, um, like, I don't know. We can wake up with a purple sky tomorrow and Gemini, you're ready for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel very, um, I feel, I feel okay with whatever happens. Whatever it's going to be is going to be, you know, the beaver is coming in for with a solid foundation. Uh, there is a reestablishment here. I, I have to say that with this beaver's energy. Um, reestablishment. There's a reestablishment. Help me with my words. I don't want to change that. I want to. I, there's a reestablishment. Reconditioning. Um, not rebuild. Restrengthening. You know, the beaver lays a solid foundation, but there's a reestablishment. Why am I? There's a reestablishment. There's filling in the cracks. Let's say it like that, okay? With this beaver, it's kind of like you're seeing windows, uh, or there's a realization of access that maybe you didn't think nobody could fit through before. You understand? Does that make sense? So it's like, oh, wow, I didn't think, I thought that would have been too small for. I don't know, uh, like it's just, you maybe left the hole in the door for the, for the, for the, um, what do they have, cats or dogs or whatever, but you didn't expect for maybe a beaver to be able to fit, that kind of thing. So let me just move accordingly, okay? The sandpiper is coming in because what you're not going to do is allow the world to determine your life, period. I love that, man. This is so you people don't understand how important it is for us to embrace and under and, and embrace the land of milk and honey. The land of milk and honey is still surrounded by very horrible places. You know, there's a other horrible places on earth, but you know that there is still space for joy and peace and love and prosperity and optimism and faith. You know what I'm saying? With that sandpiper coming in. So, and you're claiming that, claiming your independence. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm definitely in this world. I'm not of it. I don't have nothing to do with that. Okay. That doesn't have nothing to do with me. And when it does, then I'll deal with it accordingly. Up until that point, I'm going to be over here minding the, my best business. This is a beautiful transformation beautiful Gemini. And I don't feel like it's new. I feel like it's not improved. How do I want to say that? I don't feel like it's new. I feel like it's being applied uh, with a new power. Do that make sense? A new confidence. You know, you're applying the knowledge with a, with a much more, a higher, um, 
Ooh, understanding, I guess. Okay. All right. Um, let's get to your spread. Oh, all right, Gemini. I didn't see that coming, but here we are. Here we are. We're going to do Pruitts today for your spread. Man. I was just, I was going to say, you know what? Let me say it anyway. Thank you. Did I say it earlier? I don't even know. Because it really gave me a moment's peace coming into your energy. I have to say that. Aquarius had me looking out my damn window thinking people watching me. I had to get it together. Um, but out of the air signs, you guys are in a very stable, logical place. I'm not saying everything is perfect. Okay, but you're riding the wave. That's the difference. You're not being consumed. Can I have Gemini? What's at the core of this energy? What's at the center for Gemini? The Seven of Swords. That's the snake coming out. And there you are, the star. There's a re... I'm telling you, somebody has been intentionally intentionally um either <sighs> trying to befriend you trying to be around you trying to take from you trying to sabotage you in some way shape or form i have to say that and it looks like you you like i said you're just making your own moves you're doing you're moving accordingly um under divine guidance, okay? Because you're working from a whole lot more healing than you were before. That's revealing this. It's almost as if this person doesn't have the ability no more to, it's like they can't, how do I, how can I say that? You know how somebody gets so upset that they can't hide their true nature or um, people say that, um, what is it? My mom used to always say, a drunk tongue speaks a sober mind, you know, and I, that's something I'm, I always held on to. I pay attention to a drunk tongue. Okay. And I noticed that, uh, the first thing that a drunk tongue says at when they sober up is I don't even remember, you know, because how can you argue that? Right. Um, but <sighs> This is being, it, it, they can't hold it anymore. It's going to come out. Crown this energy, please and thank you with Gemini. What's hanging over their heads right now? What's, hello. The Page of Swords in reverse. All right. So what this is, remember assistance. Page of Swords is a little bit of communication. It's a learning energy. It's an energy of study, okay? It can be an energy of stalking if it was in the upright, those things. It's coming in the reverse. Don't give it an inch, not one ounce, the King of Pentacles. Hold your ground. Hold your position, okay? Don't give this an interest. No, don't feed it at all. Don't feed it. Keep your mouth shut. It's going to self-sabotage. That's the thing. That's what I was trying to say earlier. It's going to get so frustrated. It's going to reveal itself. Like this person is going to be intoxicated and not be able to hold their emotions. That's how this feels. Okay. Wow. What's working against Gemini? What's in the way? I might want to clarify that seven of swords. What's in the way? Please and thank you. The hangman reverse. It will hurt you. Remember, this works against you. This hangman is in reverse. This is in the upright. This is somebody that's looking through godly glasses. That's real in light, realizing that uh, there's a divine intervention to stop somebody from moving um, because they're about to get hurt. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody with a, a halo mindset, you know? but it's coming in reverse. It will work against you not to look through this from your higher perspective, from your higher self. It's going to work against you. Okay. I'm not saying be blind. I'm saying be quiet. That's what I'm saying. Don't be blind. 
but be quiet, okay? Nine of Cups coming in with this. And this is where this is where this is going to fight you. For this to come in with this working against you, I said, don't be blind, right? Be quiet. That's what I said. The hangman in reverse. Remember, this is somebody that's not recognizing uh, another way to see it. Remember the drunk tongue. So in the hangman, it would be a hangman. It would work against you if you gave somebody the pass of being drunk because you're a you're applying it to the liquor because it makes you feel good because it would hurt if you and, um, accept that as truth. You understand what I'm saying? That's how this is working against you. So it's kind of like what you want is to not see, is to not realize, is to not identify, is to not hold accountable because that right now, maybe it keeps your peace or this might be somebody you care about, things like that. You understand? But there is nothing wrong with seeing the truth and keeping your mouth shut for a minute. Okay? I'm just saying, Gemini, I love you, but you know we talk here. Okay? Where is this coming from? I want to clarify the Seven of Swords so bad, but I want to finish your spread first and see if it comes out. Here we go. And this is probably in here. So where this is coming from. You were on your journey to healing, to understanding, to growth. And midway your last cycle or this midway this journey, you got tired because the first half tried to take you out. Okay. So you made a choice midway. You said, this is what I'm going to do. And you actually started taking action to do it. This page, some type of a friend or emotional connection, maybe even a child, don't matter to me, but it's a small emotional connection. It smells like a person though. So if it's not a child, it's a very emotionally immature or underdeveloped person, okay? But remember, midway of the journey, you got tired, you gathered your strength, you said, this is what I'm going to do. And then this person came into play in your heart. So it became hard for you to kind of focus on the, the quality that you were looking for in life instead of just adding another cup. You understand? This affected change in your life. It affected how things started moving in your life. It affected abundance that was coming in. It slowed it down. Or lessons that you needed to learn, you didn't quite get. You understand? So you started receiving messages from your ancestors in your dreams, downloads, things like that of how to protect yourself, defend yourself, fight for what you believe in kind of reintroduce you or make you remember what started you on this journey in the first place. You were on your way. You picked something up along the way that what you weren't supposed to. But here you are. That page is going to be revealed. That's page, true intentions, true feelings, or whatever they've been hiding is about to come out. Okay, this doesn't take away from who you are, where you stand, what your abilities are, but it is going to force you <coughs> to see what you don't want to see. And the more you make yourself blind to it, the more that this is going to work against you getting in back into control. Because this emperor coming in with that past energy Nine times out of 10, this person wants to control you. They want total control. An emperor is total control, divine masculine energy. I want to rule over you. I want you to be at my beck and call. Whoa. Where are we going with this, Gemini? The king of wands. 
10 toes in. Passionate, focused, forward moving, independent, and confident. Where this is going is a battle of ego. Okay? This is the trick. I don't think you're trying to play a game. I think you're caught up in one and you're going to realize it. And that's going to piss you off because you left that behind years ago. And it's going to spark. It's going to push a button. You know, it's like I feel like they don't even understand that they've challenged it's like you're, how can I say this? I don't know if they knew you before or you had a kind of, some kind of reputation, Gemini, but I feel from this five of swords, like if I could, I know it's like, um, oh, what was the fight that just happened? Mike Tyson. It's like, I know they're retired, but they were the best and they're still considered the best. So if I can beat Gemini at this game, I know that I'm I'm the best. I'm I'm on top, unstoppable. I'm you know what I mean? Like it's like um a, a personal vendetta or challenge here, okay? So just like I said earlier, pull down from your foundation, your grounding, what's real, what's what's really going to return for you, what you're investing in that's what you want to focus on. Don't waste your time in frivolous conversations or arguments or challenges that have no return. You have nothing to prove anymore. You already have your title, okay? And you retire with it. They have to uh, let them build their own, okay? I think that someone befriended you um, for that reason, okay? Period. I think they befriended you for that reason, some of you, this is a love connection. I'm not going to lie. But this is a love connection that was challenged by somebody else. You, It's like you became like maybe one of their friends or their spirits inside of them said, I bet you can't get that one. And they got you. But they don't understand. They only got you because you evolved. If They didn't get you in your prime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They really didn't. They didn't get you in your prime. But see, this devil is being revealed. This is coming out. And it's coming out. I'm telling you, you're going to see this person's true face. And at one point, it may have been a source of love for you, a source of nurturing for you, or you were nurturing them their source okay with the ace of cups here gemini my, my old self and your old self you know we would have been like f that you know i'll meet you in a parking lot i don't feel like that in your energy and i honestly personally don't feel like that in support because of this ace of cups because i believe that god is still greater than anything period that's how I feel. And looking at this, I know you feel the same way. So is reconciliation possible? Absolutely. Because God's love is greater. But these waters have to wash this clean. It has to be God. You understand? Our love is tainted and conditioned. When the term love conquers all is incomplete. It's God's love that conquers all. It's not us. You understand me? So is there a new beginning to be had? Yes. Regardless of this, if it's through reconciliation or simple, I'm tossing this whole cup and I'm going to get me a whole new cup. Either way, they're, they're all available with the Ace of Cups to get back to a healthy exchange of emotions. Okay. So you're coming out victorious over this, but it is with a loss. Even if it's a loss of the old relationship, because now you're starting a new one in your in the same relationship, it's kind of like if you some when things are revealed in a relationship, there's damage, you know, and people do work things out, but that old relate, but it's a it's a it's an alteration now of the relationship. It's forever altered. And that's what this five of pentacles is. For some of you, this will be a financial loss. I'm not going to lie. Okay. 
because you're going to feel like I spent this, I spent that, whatever the case is. There's a loss either way, even if it's just a loss of that old relationship, because now you're reconciling and starting over. That means you're starting fresh. So then there's a feeling of I wasted, you know, like I still got it wrong. But the Ace of Wands is here to empower you and reinforce um, your focus and passion because it's life is still worth fighting for. It's still worth living. It's still worth playing in and feeling. But you're going to unga your bunga your way through that death energy because that's what that five of pentacles, that's a perfect example, perfect word for that because it died. It did. And you got to let it die. And the rebirth will be beautiful. A whole new way of doing things. Page of Wands. So that now abundance flows within the family or just within every area of your life with this Ten of Pentacles. But at least now it's real. You know what I'm saying? It's real. So you can actually sleep and rest peacefully. Not having to watch your shoulder and wonder who's coming, when they come, and how they come, and blah, 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 because you know you're good, okay? That is going to restore your emotional balance, excuse me, guys, um, and position, and reinforce your play. The Queen of Wands, uh, you know, like I said, this fire energy for you is nice. For some of you, you have a great couple, but there is a betrayal that has to come out so it can be put the rest, brought to an end with that Ten of Swords. Okay, it has to be. You'll have what you need when you need it throughout this process. So the best thing to do is address one thing at a time. Don't come to the table and to, to conversate and then say, you know, you did this, you did that, you did this. I see this, I see that. So since you did this and I found out that, that means when you said you was over here, that means you was really never there or how many times. Did, you understand? Ugh, breathe. One thing at a time. All right? One thing at a time. Don't try to solve the entire issue, whatever the problem is, in one session. This is going to require a breakdown because you are dealing with a professional um, disguiser kind of energy. I don't know how else to say that. A, prof a master of disguise. Okay? So, independently, absolutely fabulous. But in order for this to be true, some emotions are going to have to be left to the side so that you can toss this back and forth without your emotions. It's like a hot potato. It's more so with what's real, what's not, what's true, what's on the table, what was spoken that is that you can actually put facts to, I'm sorry, proof to, excuse me. What was spoken in that drunk tongue that you have proof that they were telling the truth? You understand what I'm saying? That's what you want to go by, the proof, okay? And toss that back and forth. Regain your power and control. Show them who's boss. Show them who's boss, all right? Woo! Okay. Um, if any event, you said green eyes, listen, I don't know you. You don't know me. This is not my life. I am okay with that. Please check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free and it does support the channel. If any event you're looking for a personal reading, I respond to email requests only. My email is perfectlyimperfecttarot at gmail.com. Guys, if you like what you get here, um, I can't do it without you. So donations are greatly appreciated. Sow a seed because you come here to eat. You know what I mean? That information is also below the video. There's also links for PayPal and Cash App available. Other than that, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.